The Alameda County coroner is uh, tonight saying the restraint that Alameda police used in trying to take the suspect into custody contributed to Gonzalez's death. It was in April when that fateful encounter occurred between police officers and 26-year-old Mario Gonzalez. Crown Force Dan Kerman is live tonight with more on this story. Good evening, Dan. Good evening. Much more focus these days on not just how police deal with a suspect, but specifically on how they restrain a suspect. In this case, the coroner has determined that it was that restraint that was partially the cause of Mario Gonzalez's death, and they have now ruled that death, as you mentioned, a homicide. The Alameda County coroner has classified the death of 26-year-old Mario Gonzalez as homicide and says police restraint played a part in that death. It's concerning. You know, you, you know I, I want more information. Alameda's police chief says the officers involved remain on paid administrative leave pending the outcome of two investigations. We have to wait till the administrative investigation is complete and then I will be best positioned and informed to make the appropriate decision and I will not hesitate to make the appropriate decision. The coroner's report goes on to say Gonzalez suffered cardiac arrest and the cause of death was the toxic effects of methamphetamine with the physiologic stress of altercation and restraint, morbid obesity and alcoholism. The way in which they restrained Mario on the ground, face down, and applied pressure to his back, that resulted in his death. That's something that they're trained not to engage in and to avoid, and instead the officers ignored their training. It was April 19th of this year when Alameda police were called out to a park on a report of a man with a possible psychiatric emergency. This is police body cam footage of the encounter. The coroner's report says when police arrived that morning, Gonzalez was not making any sense, speaking incoherently, and was intoxicated. Nine minutes into the encounter, the report indicates police decided Gonzalez needed to be handcuffed but said he resisted and restraint techniques were used. Gonzalez eventually was handcuffed four minutes later and put in a prone position. But the report suggests he continued to be combative and police restraint continued with arms and knees and elbows placed on Gonzalez's back and shoulder. Four minutes later, Gonzalez appeared unresponsive. CPR began. He was transported to a hospital. And at 11.45 that morning, he was pronounced dead. Those officers should be fired and they should be criminally prosecuted. That is a wraparound total package of justice. Anything less is partial justice. Now, at this point, there are two investigations still going on, one being conducted by the District Attorney's Office of Alameda County, another one hired by the City of Alameda, a private law firm also conducting an investigation. No word on where we are in terms of the process of that investigation, but likely nothing happening, at least in terms of charges or in terms of firing, until those investigations are completed. Reporting live, Dan Kerman, Cron4 News.